Good afternoon. Welcome to Sacred Hearts Parish. We welcome those present here at church and also those attending Mass via live stream at home. My name is Sean Brenner. Bill Brenner and I will be your lectors today. We gather today as a community of believers to celebrate God's great gifts to us, God's Word and the Eucharist. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Dan. Our Mass intention is for Rosalie Marino. Today, we get to enjoy Matthew's version of the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes begin, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Each item on the list has the same basic message. Rest assured, God tells us, whatever suffering you are going through, now will someday end in comfort and joy. As we listen to Jesus' list today, may we each hear the comfort that God has for our hearts. Let us now stand and give praise and glory to our God. Let us begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together this evening, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate our sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you come to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all of our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies. Not shall there be found in their mouths the deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and coach their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Yeah. 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were more powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. My sisters and my brothers, this is the gospel of the Lord. When Jesus saw the folks gathering in the church hall, he invited them to pull up chairs and have a seat. When everyone was settled and comfortable, Jesus took a chair himself and began to teach. Blessed are they who place the love of family and friends before all else, who possess a spirit of gratitude that compels them to give of their own blessings to others, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who grieve, who struggle to cope, but continue to hope. The single mom or dad trying to raise their children alone, the parents who wait for the lost daughter or son to return, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they who find joy in the happiness of others, the young couple just starting out, the devoted teacher, the dedicated health care worker, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are they who can see beyond their own interests and agendas to the greater common good, who understand and honor their ethical and social responsibility to the community, for they will be filled. Blessed are they who treat classmates, co-workers, and employees with respect and dignity, who never forget what it was like to struggle to raise a family, to be the new kid, to start a new job, who keep in mind the many times they have been forgiven and received a second and third chance that they didn't deserve, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are they who seek justice for the poor and the abused, who speak up for the victimized and the powerless, who refuse to compromise in matters of justice and truth, for they will see God. Blessed are they who possess the rare gift for bringing people together, who possess the humility to make the first move to forgive and enable reconciliation to take place, who bring healing to those who have been hurt, ignored, or rejected, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are ridiculed and criticized for doing what is just and good, who refuse to give in to cynicism around them, who will not rationalize injustice and justify falsehoods, for the reign of God is theirs. Rejoice and be glad, Jesus told the group that had met that night in the church hall, for your reward will be great in heaven. My friends, in every time and in every place, there are what can be called be attitude people in our own families, in our own communities, in our own parish, who have embraced the blessedness of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Realizing the many blessings they possess, they seek to reveal God's blessings in the lives of others through compassion, generosity, and mercy. Trusting in the mercy of God they have experienced in their own lives, they seek to be the means for others to realize God's presence in their lives. May, God, may God's grace, my friends, illuminate our hearts that we may truly embrace the vision of the Beatitudes to seek the grace and joy of God in all things.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us take refuge in the Lord and offer our petition in his holy name. That Christ may make his church a humble and lowly remnant who takes refuge in the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's justice may move all nations and peoples to observe his law and do no wrong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer from any burden may receive reassurance of comfort and love from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus may help each one of us live faithfully and eagerly the life of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in the light of faith, especially John Harrington Jr. and Donald Graham, may be judged mercifully and welcomed into the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Rosalie Marino, who is especially remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and concerns we silently call to mind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, through your Son, you promised blessing and redemption. Hear and answer the prayers we bring before you. Through Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives, who reigns, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please join in singing number 387, The Summons, number 387. And 
our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you in you, you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember Rosalie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live, who reign, forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. During communion, please join in singing number 740, 740, Oh, how blessed. Christ. 
spirit, the kingdom of God is theirs. Oh, how blessed those who dwell in sorrow, they surely will be consoled. Rejoice and be glad, beloved of the Lord, the kingdom of Such is the wisdom of God. Oh, how blessed are the meek and lowly, for they shall possess the earth. Oh, how blessed those who thirst for justice, they surely will have. The kingdom of heaven is yours. The first shall be last, the last shall be first, for such is the wisdom of God. Oh, how blessed are the poor pure of heart, for they shall be whole. mercy, forgiveness is their reward. Rejoice and be glad, beloved of the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is yours. The first shall be last, the last shall be first, for such is the wisdom of God. Such is the wisdom of God. Rejoice and be glad, beloved of the Lord. The kingdom of heaven is yours. The first shall be last, the last shall be first. For such is the wisdom of God. few announcements. As we prepare for Ash Wednesday, please bring back old palms and deposit them in the baskets at the back of the church through the weekend of February 19th. Next weekend, we will have a blessing of the throats after all masses in honor of the Feast of St. Blaise. This week is Catholic Schools Week. We celebrate Sacred Heart School and all they do for our children and our community. Parents and, Tops, Parents and Tots group is canceled this Monday due to a, being a facilitator down. It will resume next week. Let us pray. 
nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth, glorifying God by your lives. Amen. Have a good evening. Please join in singing number 739. Lead me, Lord, number 739.